Aloha and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis. This is the, the Ascension Diaries where I'm going to be tracking my own consciousness as well as everyone else who is willingly participating in this while I track the space weather and the geopolitical environment. So let's get into today's video. Welcome to December 29th. As you can see, it's currently 1.33 my time. Very cool number. I've been tracking the global consciousness dot today and watching it try to go back to green even though it's been hanging out in mostly yellow today. I was going to shoot this video, but at the time it was in this least coherent time over here. I simply could not get myself to focus to make this video, but I did the research. We were able to get here. So now this is where I'm performing. Let's continue on to the video. So we just had Venus move into Sagittarius from the sign of Scorpio. During this moment, I noticed that there was deep and secret and kind of twisted revelations, I would say, or unhealthy relations. And these can be very deep. This can be ancestral pain. I noticed that at the very last like moments and degrees of Scorpio Venus and then now birthing into the Sagittarius side of things is a relief, I would say, for all of us who kind of had to process a little bit extra than expected near the end there. But while, while we're in this Venus Sagittarius energy, the planet of relationships is going to be experiencing more of expansion instead of more introversion, which is more of a scorpionic energy and a more secretive energy, but now we're expressive. So whatever happened to you, you can now express yourself. Tell us what happened to you, please. You know, growth through risk, finding freedom through connection, very great pieces of advice. And with the recent solar footage, we have a little bit to show you, but what's the biggest, I would say, planetary experience that happened today was the California coast. Pismo and basically just down the southern western coast of the United States experienced a large swell that kind of flooded the coastline for a second, pushed some people over, some people got hurt. But there was that earthquake, obviously, across the ocean from them and all this activity. So I was curious if that had somehow traveled all the way over here or if it was just the, let's just say the plates moving but i don't see much activity with that plate at all so it was curious i was trying to figure it out <laughs> we have no data though from russia so since that earthquake now we've lost our schumann resonances russian model that we like to look at so i haven't been able to access it and people in the telegram chat room have been trying to find that data all morning still nothing so Let's just look at the pretty smiley ghost face that came out of the sun that we saw yesterday and move along. We have just a little bit more earthquake news to show you. So we have this particular location now in Myanmar. That was the most powerful earthquake that I've been seeing other than, yeah, no, Myanmar is still winning right now. And the ripples throughout the earth unlike the Russian earthquake, was far less intense. I'm not seeing much activity. A little bit, bit on every chart, sure, but nothing like the Russian earthquake. So made me wonder, maybe it was that that caused a wave to wash up on California coastline like that. The people were disturbed, I would say, to get that extra water. When it comes to what's coming from the sun and in the models right now, there isn't a lot of intensity, even though there was some solar flares that just didn't quite make it to M class that happened yesterday after I filmed this last show. Didn't quite make it, but we did see an a C 9.7, so almost an M1 solar flare yesterday. So we were watching, we still saw you fancy solar flare. So around hour eight UTC was when this particular event kind of popped off and set off the energy yesterday. Now looking at the pricing for the first few cryptos, I would say Bitcoin and Ethereum are dropping in price as well as Cardano and Dogecoin. 
but we've got Polkadot on the up as well as even the USDC and the rest as well. So there's some movements here to maybe be considerate of. Now we're going to look at the sun as well and see how it has performed since the 28th now into the 29th. So we saw that big flash, those two ejections. Now this is all new footage right here. So there's another very large decent and really fast ejection you can see. So we're going to back it up. We're going to back up a little bit so we can see a bigger picture. That's the very large and newest prominence, the one you just saw footage of. So we're moving forward from the 26th right now and 27th and Venus is getting closer and closer to Sagittarius, <laughs> 28th. And now this is all new footage. So that really wobbly looking explosion and then the faster one a little more forward is going to be what we're going to look for next. As I said, the model didn't seem like it was that extreme, but I'm going to keep looking for some footage because that model's a little iffy, I would say. Nothing else is showing up super extreme in my charts other than, of course, this flare that we got over here pretty nice nothing too crazy let's look at the surface of the sun all right so we do have this coronal hole that's still earth facing and should be increasing the solar wind speed let's see our speed it's actually below average so it's not increasing the speed yet so we'll keep an eye on that this spaceweather.com is mentioning there's a sunspot on the far side. So those of you who are hypersensitive are probably already feeling the effects of this sunspot, even though we don't see it yet. I had that conversation today with one of my clients who had booked a session with me on ascensiondiaries.com. We had a great session, had a lot of fun. I'm so grateful to meet people in this community and people who use my knowledge to help their own clients and figure out how their own clients are gonna behave that day. So let's quickly look at the weather. There's slightly a tropical disturbance, I would say, at the south of India, which is kind of fresh and new coming up today. We have some South Korean and North Korean news as well as precipitation. So following that momentum, again, storms look pretty normal as they did yesterday. Lightning as well is dissipating. So overall, the system, the current around the earth is calming down still. We're in a decently calm conditions, but I think those, the Venus transit and the coherency is still showing some chaos. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. I love you all very much. Thanks for joining the channel. And until next time, I will be doing a video on the 31st for all of you about the December codes. I'd love to have you there and the replay will be free and available on my YouTube channel. So if you're hearing this late, you might be able to go over there and watch it right now. So I will be glad to get those downloads out and out of my head, the December downloads. So excited and excited to ride this Venus in Sagittarius energy. Until next time, guys. See you around.